new videos every day. Psyche Truth Life Wisdom Hi there, my name is Amanda Jane, and today we're going to do a modified vinyasa flow concentrating on standing postures. So come to the top of your mat, feet together or almost all the way together, hands at the front of the hip bones with your thumbs on your gluteals. We're going to open the chest and rotate those hips open a little bit as you inhale. And then on the exhale, just slowly bring that body back to center, focusing forward. So it's very subtle, small movement. And inhale, lift. And exhale, back center. One more time. And inhale, open the chest, open those hips, open the shoulders. And exhale, pull back center. Feel the feet ground into the floor for your Tadasana pose. Bring the hands to the heart. And I like to give a little bit of pressure in the hands so you feel the back muscles start to work. You feel those shoulder blades melting down the back and you feel the abdominals lightly lift. So again, let's take a breath in. And then exhale, just bow halfway forward and feel the length in the backs of your legs. Take your gaze down into the floor. Chest is still open even though you're facing downward. Let's bend the knees slightly. Take the hip bones back as you continue to reach tall and long through the top of the head. From there, extend the legs as much as you can. Just according to how long your hamstrings are, you go to where you want to go. And then use the belly to come back to standing. So we'll do that little modification there. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, guide and bow your body forward. Eyes go downward. Soften the knees as you breathe in. Maintain length in the torso. And then go ahead and extend those legs to the edge of your hamstring stretch. So you don't want to push. And come right back up, keeping that torso long. So we'll continue with that vinyasa. Inhale, lift the right knee and take the right leg back behind you. Okay, so we're in crescent pose. So you should definitely feel a stretch in the front of the right hip. And then the hips can go a little bit lower as long as you're, you are at 90 degrees in your front leg and no lower than that. So you don't ever want to drop too low so you're not into your connective tissue at all. So just stay here and breathe for a couple of more breaths. Shoulders releasing down the back and abdominals are lightly engaged. And one more time, inhale and exhale. Use your back leg to push off and come forward. Inhale, lift the left leg. Take that leg straight back behind you. Same position, just opposite side. You might feel a little bit of difference on each side. So now the stretch is in front of the left hip. The abdominals are slightly lifting and the shoulders are melting down the back. So inhale here, lifting the torso. Exhale, settle into that pose. And make sure that the knee is right over your ankle. You don't want to go any for, uh, further forward than the ankle because that will go into the knee joint. We don't want that. And one more breath in. And exhale. Okay, push off that back leg and come forward. Ooh, find your balance. <laughs> Inhale, lift the torso. Exhale, bow forward again. Bend those knees, stretch through that torso, breathe in. On the exhale, stretch through the hamstrings, lengthening the torso. Let's add a breath here. So inhale to get longer and maintain that length as you exhale and come up. Let's inhale, lift the right knee. Exhale, reach that leg back behind you. So in crescent pose, what's really important is that we're standing in what I like to call train tracks. So my right foot is on one lane and my left foot's on, on another lane. So I'm not one foot right behind the other. You have a little bit of separation there which will help with your balance. So we're holding here. If you feel like your balance is really challenged, take your right foot to the right a little bit. 
that'll just help help um, widen your base and give you a little bit more stability. A couple more breaths in here. Inhale. And on the exhale, light lift of the belly, a little bit of pressure through the palms to engage the mid-back. One more time, inhale. And deep exhale. Pressing off, coming forward. Inhale, lift the left knee. And exhale, press it back, find your train tracks. Feel balance in the body. Feel that stretch in front of the left hip. And just breathe, inhale. And exhale, settle into the posture. And one more. Inhale. And deep exhale, stepping forward. Breathing in, opening the chest. Bow it forward. Take that bend in the knees. Inhale there. Exhale, lengthen through the backs of the legs. Feel the hamstrings start to yawn open. Let's hold here for a moment. So you want to feel the hamstrings opening laterally as if the inner thighs are going in and the hamstrings are coming out. Breathe in here, get longer. On that exhale, lift the body all the way up. Okay, now we go into warrior one. So inhale, lift the knee. Exhale, step it back. Find your train tracks again. Open the right hip just a little bit as you open the toes to what we would call a two o'clock angle. Now, the temptation is to open the hip and turn the body. You wanna keep the torso pointing straight forward as much as possible. So you're just holding here and breathing. Temptation is also to allow the inside arch of the back foot to buckle. You wanna lift that arch as much as possible. So just breathe here, one more, inhale. And deep exhale. Pressing off, let's go to side two. Inhale, lift the left knee, and exhale, step it back. Rotate the back foot on its side, so in this case, a 10 o'clock angle. Feel that left hip start to open a little bit, and settle in. Feel the right knee reaching forward as the left heel reaches down and back. And keep that left hip pulling forward, right hip pulling back to stay square, to your front. One more breath in, and exhale, and bring it forward. Okay, bowing again. Inhale, lift, exhale, reaching forward. Let's take the hands to the hips this time. Like we did, like we started with, bring the thumbs back into the gluteals as you bend the knees. Inhale there. And exhale, go to your stretch, reaching back through the hamstrings, reaching the hamstrings around circularly. Inhale, lengthen the torso, and exhale, coming to standing. One more time on each side. So inhale, exhale, step it back. Let's keep the hands on the hips this time. Rotate that right foot to a two o'clock angle and guide the right hip forward. Guide the left hip back and that will help keeping balance. Inhale, exhale, maybe dip a little bit lower, and one more, keeping that height. And exhale, and press off and coming up. Left knee lifts as you breathe in. Exhale, left foot back, and turn the left heel down and back. So you're in that 10 o'clock angle, and this time you're guiding the right hip back and the left hip forward, keeping the left arch lifted off the floor. And that's just to protect the knee. So we breathe in here, and exhale, reaching through the back of the legs, and inhale again, and deep exhale. Okay, stepping forward, going all the way through, inhale, opening the chest, Exhale, take it forward to your 90 degree angle of the body. Bend the knees as you breathe in. Kind of a modified chair pose. Exhale, extend through the backs of the legs, but take that extension to the top of your head as well. Inhale, grow longer. And exhale, come to standing. Okay, warrior two. Inhale, lift the right knee. Exhale, step it back and find your two o'clock angle again. This time, we're going to actually Susie cue the left foot over to the right, 
and we are going to open the hips slightly. The focus is staying over our left knee and over our left shoulder. The inner thighs on the right leg are wrapping forward and in, and the hip is slightly more open. So we've gone in a progressive manner from crescent pose through, yoga, uh, through warrior one and into warrior two. Hips are just slightly opening with each one. So breathing in, exhale, getting a little bit taller through the torso with each inhale and maintain that height as you exhale. Okay, stepping off, coming forward. Left knee up, inhale. Exhale, step it back and find your 10 o'clock angle. And then Susie, cue the right foot to the left and open the hip a little bit, looking over that right shoulder and the right knee. And allow the left inner thighs to rotate inward, keeping that left arch lifted. And breathe in. Exhale, feel length going forward through your right knee and back through your left leg. And again, inhale. And deep exhale, feel the abdominals start to lightly lift. Stepping forward. And breathe in, opening the chest. Bow it forward and hold. Bend those knees and breathe. Exhale, extend through the backs of the legs, coming to standing. One more time on each side, breathing in. Exhale back, rotate the hip open, Let right heel is down, right arch is lifted. Open up the torso a bit and breathe in. On the exhale, bring the hands to the heart and press those palms together to feel the backs of the shoulders working, feel the mid back working, and feel the abdominals lifting. Breathe in. And deep exhale. One more, inhale. And deep exhale. Step it all the way forward. Let's take the hands on the hips again as you breathe in with the left knee up. Exhale, step it back and find your 10 o'clock angle. Open up the torso a little bit as you slide the right foot over to the left. Feel the hips drop underneath the shoulders. Reach through the right knee and reach the back left heel. Bring the hands to the heart and press in as you inhale. And deep exhale, feel the abdominals working. One more time, breathing in. And deep exhale. And go ahead and step forward. Coming all the way up with the chest, breathe. You should feel like your heart's even more open. Exhale, dive it forward. Focus goes toward the floor as you bend the knees and breathe in. Exhale, reach the backs of the legs as you stretch the torso even more. Let's hold here one more breath. Inhale, lengthen, get energetically longer. Exhale, come all the way up. Thank you. Go ahead and like this video. Um, you can make requests um, as you get more advanced and you want to see more, I always take requests. And make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much. You can find more about me at malamotion.com. Thank you.